Hello, my name is Dave Ziegler from Rockland UAS, and today we're going to create a 2D orthomosaic image using Drone Deploy to plan the mission, Drone Deploy Flight to actually fly the mission, and the free open source software WebODM to create the orthomosaic image. So the first thing that we're going to do is create a new project, and we're going to map Nyack Memorial Park in Nyack, New York, which is the, in the Hudson Valley region of New York. And that's the park there. Now this mission is going to be relative accuracy only. We're not going to be using RTK, PPK, or putting down any ground control points. Uh, the point is just to show how to create an orthomosaic image. So we're going to leave these defaults, and we're going to create a standard map. And we're going to set the altitude to 150 feet. Obviously, you have to adjust the altitude for whatever your requirements are. I happen to know that that's enough to clear the obstacles and give us the level of detail that we need. If you needed more detail, obviously you could fly um, lower, which will create longer images and have a longer flight time. And then we're going to set the boundaries. Now, I've already gone ahead and planned and flown this mission before. I'm just going to quickly show how you set the boundaries, and then we're just going to jump over to the mission that was already flown. And what we're going to do is we're going to lay these points. You can actually create new points. You don't need a perfect square. So we can create new points, let's say, to avoid flying over people or roads. And let's go ahead and jump to the mission that was already planned. Here we see the mission as I flew it a couple months ago. Uh, if we were doing this again today, we'd make sure that we had saved our project uh, and verified that it's accessible from the Drone Deploy Flight app. Out in the field, we'd go ahead and check our equipment, take off and verify MOCA. And once everything was confirmed, then we can go ahead and actually fly the mission. In this case, we'll do it in the simulator, We'll start our pre-flight check. And once everything is checked out, we can start the flight. And we'll go ahead and speed this up, assume that all of our assets were captured correctly, and then head back uh, to actually do the processing. All right, so now we're in WebODM, and we're going to add a new project, and let's call that Nyack Memorial Park, and create that. And then we're going to select our images, and we've already um, cut out the first couple of images from the mission, which were basically as the drone was moving into position. So let's just add in our images. And we're going to go with a fast ortho. Now, there are a lot of custom settings that you can change in WebODM. But we're not going to go into those right now. We're just going to go with the default fast ortho, default uh, image resize. And now we're going to review. And we're going to start processing. And this is going to take a little bit, so we'll come back after all the processing is done. All right, now that the processing is complete, we could either download our assets, and we can do that individually, or all assets uh, in one big zip file. But we can also view the map right in line. And if we do that, we'll see our image overlaid on Google Maps here. And if I zoom in, you will see it is a little pixelated. That is just the viewer. If we actually look at the exported TIFF, we will see that it is um, the full resolution. And then from there, let's zoom out. And we can see the entire image. So I hope this helps you create your first 2D orthomosaic image using WebODM and look forward to talking to you again. Have a great day.